Mac OS Sequoia, five must-try features in public beta. Apple has launched the public beta of Mac OS Sequoia, the first beta version offered to anyone besides registered Apple developers. If you need to know what's coming with the next version of Mac OS, the public beta of Mac OS Sequoia provides you with a good opportunity. However, back up your Mac before you do, because this is unfinished beta software and there are still bugs to resolve. However, if you can't wait to look at what Sequoia has to provide, Gat Insiders put together a quick rundown of the top features to check out based on time with the beta. If you don't have it yet, study our guide for downloading the Mac OS Sequoia beta to get started. Notes in Mac OS Sequoia Your Notes app is ready to receive a pretty big update with Mac OS Sequoia, but you won't see the full extent of it until Apple Intelligence comes online. Notes will be capable of recording and transcribing audio, syncing the audio to the transcription, and saving these recordings recordings right in your notes with everything else. iPhone mirroring in Mac OS Sequoia Another big Mac OS Sequoia feature you should know is iPhone mirroring because it doesn't need Apple intelligence to function. However, it does require you to be running iOS 18 on a supported iPhone. Apple iPhone 15 or newer. So if you need to try it early, you must put the iOS 18 public beta on your iPhone. Once you have an iOS 18 iPhone nearby that's locked into the same Apple ID as your Mac, just fire up the new iPhone mirroring app on macOS Sequoia to link to your iPhone. From there, you'll be capable enough to navigate through your iPhone right on your Mac desktop, running apps and reviewing photos. Window tiling in macOS Sequoia With macOS Sequoia, Apple's MacBooks are finally getting a bit closer to Windows 11 in one key way window tiling. Once you install Mac OS Sequoia, you should try the new window tiling feature, which makes it easy to immediately move a window into the side or the corner of your screen. To see it in action, simply grab a window and drag it to the side of your screen. Once you start to bump up against the left or right edge, you'll see a white rectangle display on the side of the screen. Release the window you're dragging and it will instantly snap to fill the white rectangle, making it easy to quickly organize windows. Messages One of the new features coming to Mac OS Sequoia might see small, but it's a lot of fun on a day-to-day -day basis. Messages and the new ways of interacting with them that are coming in Sequoia. Along with iOS 18 and iPad OS 18, Messages in Sequoia is getting updated with a new tap back feature that allows you to respond to a message with any emoji your heart desires. Passwords One of the most useful new features of Mac OS Sequoia is the Passwords app that currently comes included by default. This app takes advantage of Apple's iCloud keychain tech to automatically store all the passwords on your Mac in one easy to access place. Just launch the Passwords app, easily done by navigating to Spotlight Search and typing passwords. And once you log in, you'll be greeted with a list of all passwords your Mac has stored, sorted into categories. From here, you can edit what passwords are stored, add new ones, and check to see any one-time codes that have been sent to you for two-factor authentication purposes. Moreover, you can review your stored Wi-Fi passwords in your passkeys, share stored passwords with folks in your family group, and more.